Hi, this is Seema and I will be bringing you a new lesson on common expressions in business. Well, a lot of you have probably finished with school and college and now you've started work. Uh, some of you smart ones are also now started their own business. Well, in business and at your work environment, there are many times when you have to use expressions to speak with your colleagues, your friends, your work associates. Well, there is a way of saying thank you. There is a way of saying, saying welcome. There is a way of expressing your gratitude. Uh, there is a way of expressing your happiness or your displeasure at certain things. That is why we need to know common expressions that we use when we are in a work environment. What are they? The first one is don't mention it. When do I use don't mention it? The actual expression, the actual meaning of this expression means you are welcome. So if someone has given me their pen to write with, I would say thank you. And what would they say? They would say, don't mention it, meaning you are welcome. That's all right. Moving on to have a good trip. What is the expression have a good trip means? It is nothing but wishing either a friend or a colleague a safe trip or a safe journey while they are going maybe out of town or while they're just going you know for a business meeting so have a good trip is nothing but a way of saying have a good journey have a safe trip moving on to glad to hear that when do we use this expression well uh, if my business associate uh, was doing very well in his business and he came up to me and said you know I have got a business and now it is reaping a lot of benefit it is it is making me a lot of profit so I am genuinely very happy to hear that he is doing good because I he is my business associate so I say I'm glad to hear that so glad to hear that is an expression we use when we are happy when we want to express happiness about something so this is the expression you will use so suppose someone comes up to you and says uh, I did very well I passed with an A plus so you are really happy that he has and you say glad to hear that so this is not only used in business but also otherwise uh, the opposite of this is sorry to hear that so when I am unhappy so I express my unhappiness in a situation when I say I am sorry to hear that so um, sometimes somebody could come up to me and say uh, I read through your book but I did not really like it or I do not completely agree with your opinions in the book. I would say I'm sorry to hear that because I'm not very happy about what he just told me or maybe I'm not in complete agreement with what he just mentioned to me. Moving on to go ahead. Well, go ahead literally means to go ahead, to actually uh, move from one place to another but in business expression the meaning of go ahead is uh, when I say yes to a question or it is basically just an agreement so this is also an agreement to something that has been requested of me so if somebody comes up to me and says I'm going for a business meeting I need to borrow your car keys uh, if I want to say yes I will say go ahead meaning yes you can go ahead take my car keys go for your meeting okay so go ahead is nothing but agreement or a yes to a simple question moving on to it's a deal well, this is a very common business terminology, a very common business expression 
which which basically means that you have agreed so it is basically an agreement to a decision in business so uh, you know me and my business partner we agree to you know split our profit in two parts so i say we get so much of profit and we split that in two parts okay 50 percentage and that's yours and 50 is mine so he says it's a deal so what he's really doing is he is agreeing to a business decision that we have you know concluded upon so that is where you use an expression like it's a deal moving on to here you are uh, here you are is basically an expression we use when somebody um, uh, requests or asks us for a thing so you ask me for a pen and I give it to you and I say here you are um, or if someone uh, wants to borrow you know um, my you know my car keys so I say here you are I give him my car keys so when we give things that are asked of us while we give it to those people that's when we use the expression here you are okay so this is a very common expression but don't take it for its literal meaning it, it basically means that somebody's asked you something and you're giving it to them uh, what a pity well uh, what a pity is used when you are um, when you are unhappy or you really feel um, sympathy for a person so you want to express your sympathy uh, this expression is mostly used in in cases when a person has strived to get something and at the last moment he came this close to getting it but then he missed so uh, maybe you, you know I have a business associate who tried to uh, you know launch his business in a particular area uh, he, he did a lot to do that and he came really close to doing that but because of some legal restrictions because of other reasons he just couldn't launch his business so he came really close to something but he couldn't so I express my sympathy because maybe I'm a businesswoman too and I feel sorry for him so I say what a pity you couldn't achieve what you tried to do so what a pity is an expression when I'm unhappy genuinely unhappy for something or someone or I'm expressing sympathy in light of a person's situation moving on to that's a good point well that's a good point as um, you know it, it clearly shows is an agreement about someone's opinion so two business partners are you know making a business deal or maybe they are just you know deciding that they are going to tap a certain market area because they feel the sales are going to be high in that particular area and the other one says that's a good point so I say let's tap this area this is where we're going to do the maximum sales and my friend agrees with me saying that's a good point so what is he doing he is agreeing on my opinion so that's a good point means agreement on one's opinion and moving on to the last one which is let's call it a day let's call it a day uh, means nothing but telling someone that let's finish with a day's work let's finish with today's work let's wrap okay so let's call it a day means let's finish with today's work or today's business So, you know, you work from nine to five and maybe at five o'clock you, you're exhausted, you've done the best you could and then you tell your, your boss or maybe your, your, employ, your, your subordinates or maybe your friends that let's call it a day, I'm going home, okay? 
Well, that brings me to the end of this lesson on common expressions in business English. Well, it's time to test what you've learned. To take the test, click onto the link in the description at the end of this video and check out your scores and you will know how much you've learned. Well, until then, I'll be back with a new video and some new teachings. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.